Hi, this is Amy and I want to show you the latest, greatest update to Screencastify that just came out today um, because I'm just so very excited about it and I want you to see it really soon. Uh, first of all, if you want to get the update and you're not seeing it yet, you can always just uninstall your Screencastify uh, tool and reinstall it. Uh, you'll be sent to directions. All you have to do is just right click it, remove from Chrome, and then you'll get a link in a Google form that will take you back to the website and you can reinstall it. So if you try this and you don't see that, that's what you should try first to get the extension. All right, I already have it, so let me show it to you. Up here at the top, you'll see a little link you can click to learn more about it, but you want to make sure before you start trying it out that it's actually activated. So just like always, you want to check your microphone, make sure it's bumping, click the microphone and turn it down if it's going into the red. You want to make sure you have your webcam on so you can face your students or whoever your audience is. And then under show more options, you want to make sure that show drawing tools is turned on. All right, I'm going to start recording. Right, here we are inside Screencastify and here are here is the new toolbar. So right over here you see you still have pause and stop. You still have mouse pointer controls. We had those in the old toolbar but they do look a little bit different and there's a new one added so now we also have fireworks. How fun is that? So when you want to go back and see the rest of the options you can just click save and go back. So here's my pin now. Again, not a new tool, but the options look a little bit different than they did before. Once again, we can go back and get now a rectangle. How awesome is this? So now I can highlight different parts of the screen that I want my viewer to be looking at and we've got stickers. So this is brand new, of course, never had stickers available in Screencastify before, but here they are. I'm so happy about that. And Let's go back and see if there's anything else. We also have the stop webcam or start webcam right over here. So if you're trying to show your viewer something that ends up being underneath where your webcam is and you don't want to mess with moving it around, you can just turn it off and turn it back on really, really easily. Uh, like I always say, this is my favorite way to start and stop or, or to stop a recording right down here in the left hand corner. But no, now you can also move this out of the way. Just click and hold on the little array down there. When I get ready to stop a Screencastify recording, this is my way of doing it. I like to hit pause first so I have a nice clean stop and then hit stop. So I'll tell you goodbye and let us know in the comments on YouTube if you love this new feature. Hopefully you'll love it as much as we do and be just as excited as we are at Fried Technology. Have a great day. Bye-bye.